Hey, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanics. We are back in the Slippery Inventions world. We're going to be creating some more epic stuff today. We're going to try and build a walking house. Now, we played... Oh, no, that's... Spoilers alert. Me and Ash did a challenge which involved this vehicle. I think it's going to be online tomorrow. We basically did a, a hill climb. We give ourselves 10 minutes, uh, and it was basically the, the, the one who could build the best vehicle that could hill climb... We could get to the top of that mountain first, so that's going to be going online tomorrow. Uh, but for today's episode, I really want to build a floating house, and I think that this is a really good place to start. It's nice and open. We're going to put our friend the little lift down, uh, and yeah, we are going to try and build ourselves a house. So what we're going to need for this is the house material, which is going to be wood. We're going to drag this out pretty big here, uh, and we are going to start building. So let's raise this up. Let's take this lift off because uh, we need to centralize it a little bit more. And yeah, you guys seem to absolutely love this. I did a video on it yesterday, uh, and the, basically the support for this game and these videos were incredible. You guys seem to love them. So yeah, let me know if you guys want more. Today we're going to be doing some challenges with me and Ash and me and Stamps as well, which is going to be quite cool. I managed to get Stamps actually uh, involved with the game because I knew he'd enjoy it and he, and, he, and he does so yeah so let's build the wheels what are we doing now this is going to be the outside of the house it looks like a regular house but this is where the wheels are going to pop out from so it's going to be pretty good so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to put some bearings here and then we're going to need to bring this all the way up because we're going to need we're going to should we make like really big legs <gasps> Like this big, <laughs> do you think? Or not? I don't really know what to do. I really want to do it because it might look funny, but let's go. Let's go. Let's go quite big. Okay, we're gonna go for quite big legs. They're gonna be impractical, and that's already okay. We're gonna we're gonna make that symmetrical like so, and then we need to try and put ourselves some uh, some wheels on this thing. So let's get ourselves some normal wheels out. We're gonna replace the jets because. I know we didn't, we didn't replace the jets. What did I replace? I think it was the switch, but I need the switch. We're going to get the controller out because we need that. But yeah, let's whack some wheels on. Actually, let's put them... Which way should we put them? Yeah, let's put them this way around. Why not? Let's put them this way around. Um, we may need to actually uh, make these wheels turn. So we might have done this wrong, but I just want to see if this works. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to whack a controller down, whack a switch down, uh, and then connect... Wait a minute. Nope, that's the wrong bearing squid. We're going to connect this bearing to this, this bearing to this. And we want these, these basically these wheels to turn all the way around. So we're going to need to uh, chop uh, chop these blocks away here like so. Uh, and then we need to do the same on the other side because the wheels are going to be poking through here. So let me do this really quickly like that. Then we need to tell the controller of how far it needs to turn. Uh, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> so we're going to test it with this side. If this side is right, then we'll know. Uh, okay, we need to remove the lift. Good old lifty lift. Let's get rid of you, my friend. We don't need you right now. Okay, let's do this. Uh, switch not connected to anything. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Now it is. All right, what's going to go? Anything going to happen? Anything at all? Woo! Okay, that's that side. Works pretty good. Not going to lie. Not very good. It works okay. <laughs> let's get rid of this. But that is the, the right way around. So let's get rid of some of these blocks here. Let's get rid of this block and this block. Let's do the same on the side so the wheels can actually get underneath. So this is good. But we need to do here. We need to do 180. And then we need to go minus 180 here. Now you might be wondering, Squid, why have you left these two here? Well, I'm going to I'm gonna be doing some contraptions with these two. So we're going to leave them for now. We're going to turn it slow so we don't go flying in the air. And let's press it again. What's going to happen? Uh, anything? <laughs> Is anything gonna? Oh! Oh! <gasps> it works! It actually works! Yes! Amazing! Right. Um, I'm trying to think what we can do now because we kind of need this house to turn. So maybe, 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 what we should do is we should turn these these wheels around. Okay. Just, just bear with me here. We're gonna turn these wheels around. We're gonna put them uh, here and here. Now they know that we work. They work. So. We're going to take these off. These can be the back wheels, okay? So we don't have to bother about any bearings. So this is fine. So this should work the same way. If we now activate this. Let's have a look. Are you going to work? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. The wheels of the house are on. Okay, brilliant. Now we need some front-facing wheels to actually turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing here. We're going to try and line this up perfectly because if you don't know by now, this game is very, very picky 
with how precise you actually put things and you got to make sure you put them right so we're gonna put the bearing uh bearing there and the same on this side uh was it one it was two squid it was two so we need to put another block here uh and then i think that is perfect i want to make sure it's all symmetrical i think it is so that's good now this is going to be the tricky part because we, we need to try and put ourselves a bearing right at the top so i'm gonna to have to like nerd pull this i think and kind of judge where i need the wheels to be now is this in line i don't know if this is in line or not <laughs> let's just wing it chicken wing it is that good uh i think that's good actually because we need to put a block on that. Yeah, this is good. Right, okay, 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 okay. This is good. Uh, so we need to nerd pull up again. I really wish they added a fly feature in because that would be very helpful right about now. But not to worry. Put a block there. We might as well do the same while we're up here. So we need to get just one below the bottom, which is around about there. Is that right? I think that's right. And then put that. No, not that there. Take that away. Take that away. There we go. And then one there. And then a block around it. Can we do a block? Can we? Yes, there we go. Brilliant. That's all good. That is all good. Now, if we just remove some of this stuff, like so, uh, put a block there. <laughs> and then if we put a bearing, I believe, here, and of course, here. And we do the same on the other side. And these are going to be the, the wheels that steer, which is pretty awesome. So, we're going to put this like so. Uh, we need to connect this up with the controller as before. Now, this should be the same degrees as that. Let's try. So this is number three, which is here. Number three. Uh, and this one was number two. So let's try and match them. Let's try and go 180 degrees minus. So let's press this. Is this going to work? Uh, <laughs> it goes the wrong way. What? Hey, hey, okay. Stop, 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 stop. This is good, though. Now we know what we're doing. So we're going to go 180 this way. Uh, and then we need to connect this one to this and then it needs to be minus 180 and then the wheel should work which is pretty amazing now what we need to do is try to put a, ourselves a little steering column in but i don't know do, do i want to do that now yeah let's do that now why not let's do that now so we're gonna put ourselves a seat in let's get rid of the suspension we should have put some sp suspension because it's quite a heavy house is this not in line i bet it's not gonna be in line is it it's not in line. Doesn't matter. Who cares? I probably do, but... Oh, is it in line? I think it is, actually. I think it's dead center. This is good. So, as always, we're going to connect the wheels. Connect the wheels up, like so. Uh, and then they're always the wrong way around. So, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to actually connect the switch to the steering wheel. So, if we press 1, what are we going to do? This should activate all the wheels. Yes, come on. And it should push us. Woo! What happened? <laughs> what happened? I think I know what happened. I didn't remove these blocks. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry. I'm a noob. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, I'm stuck in the lift. Right, okay. Uh, let's go down a bit. Down a bit, down a bit, down a bit, down a bit. Remove these blocks. And then it should... Wait, which ones did I remove on this one? Okay, I didn't actually remove this block. I removed these two. Like so. I removed it all the way back. Like that. There we go. Uh, do the same this way, Squidoodle, and then we'll go for test number two. Remove that, jump in the driver's seat, and then hit that one button. And let's see if we can make our tiny little moving house move. Come on. Yes, look at this. Do the wheels work? Right. And left. Oh, they work perfectly. And we press one again. And take our wheels off, and then we have a house. Oh, man, this is amazing. So, what we should do now is we should definitely add an engine. This is what we need next. We need to add an engine in. So, let me connect all these wheels up, like so. Connect them up there. And obviously, you got to remember, guys, before you switch the engine on, connect it to the steering wheel. Otherwise, it'll take off without us. And we don't want that to happen. We're going to put... We're going we're gonna to... Slow, slow and steady house. About three bars. Okay. Let's raise this car up. This is going to be so good. Come on. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Does it go? Wait, the wheels might be turning the wrong way. I need to just quickly... need to quickly have a look. Okay, that's turning correct. That's turning the wrong way. You are the culprit. You are also the culprit. And you are turning the right way. So now, if it can, if I can get back on... Here we go! Squiddy built a moving house! And then we hit one again and... Whoop! <laughs> Brilliant! Now, at the moment, 
We spent about 10 minutes on this. This is looking pretty good. We haven't actually um, built a complete house. So at the moment, it looks... It doesn't really look that much like a house, does it? So we're going to actually make it more houseified, if that's even a word. I've just made up a word, guys. More houseified. Here we go. We need to basically put walls on this thing like this so you can't see the wheels. Otherwise, it just looks like a regular house. I'm going to build a flap that goes up. So what we're going to do here is we're going to build... Ooh, oh, 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 what do we do? We build a flap that goes... Okay, let me do this. Let me put this here. Okay. So the viewing area is going to be this little window here. Okay. And then we're going to build it out of this. So we're going to put a little rotator there. This is going to flip it up. Hopefully. <laughs> Probably won't. So we do it like this. We need to get our bearing out. This looks pretty complicated, actually. For me, I didn't think I could make anything this complicated. I hope you guys are keeping it up. So this is number five bearing. Look at look at how many things we've got now. This is insane. Uh, we need it to turn uh, 90 degrees. Okay. So if we hit... Wait, should we get in the driver's seat and do it? Let's see if we do this. So if we hit one... Is this going to work? <laughs> it's turning the wrong way. <laughs> it will work, though. This it, will, it should work. Okay, so if we do this again... Turn it the other way. Okay, turn it the way, squid. And... Uh, like that. Uh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. We need to we need to deactivate it. So we need to go back on the ground because I want it to work all in a sequence. And so now when it stops, when everything's back up at the top, we'll turn it that way. And then we get in and press one. Hopefully we get a little little window to look out of. Oh yeah, look at this. So good. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. This is amazing. So it's starting to look like a house now. What I'm gonna do is we're just gonna put a few more walls on and then we've literally built a house in like 15 minutes. This is how easy this game is. I'm absolutely loving this, it's incredible. So let's do the sides uh, like this. Let's just build the sides up uh, like so. And I'm hoping that this doesn't affect the wheels. Hoping it doesn't affect the wheels, it might do, but I'm hoping it doesn't uh, like so. We do need a door on this thing, remember? A door would be nice, so we might have to put a door in in a minute. I just want to test these wheels out to make sure that it doesn't, it doesn't like, crush them. Maybe if we put, like, a this wall up here, like so. Put another wall uh, up here. Like this. Let me just do a few tests. Now, the wheels are going to pop out from all sides. Okay. We know that. We obviously know that. I don't have a door. I can't get in. <laughs> I, like, track myself. Right, let's, let's, build, let's build a little door here. We all know how to build doors, which is the same I did last time. So, we just need to pop open... Uh, a little thing here, and we need to basically uh, put ourselves a little door in, like so. We need to connect the bearing, turn it to 90 degrees. You guys know the drill. Uh, so down here, we need to turn this to 90 degrees, like so. Now, maybe we shouldn't actually connect this to that, because we could do it like a switch, couldn't we, to actually open the door. So let's just go independent with this. Let's just connect it to its own switch, and then we don't have to, like, you know, get the vehicle turned on to actually get inside, if that makes sense. So, uh, we're going to need our, our own controller for this, I believe. So, let's put this here, and let's connect this to this, and this to that. Oh, is that right? Yep, and this to that. Uh, excuse me. Why is it not working? I need you to connect to this. No, not that. <laughs> what have I done? Wait, is that right? I think it... And then this to that. There we go. It just wouldn't work for a second there. Right, and then we need to turn this to 90, and then this should work. Let's have a look. Um, excuse me. Why, why you no work? Why, oh, <laughs> I've connected the controller to it. I'm such an idiot. Right, let's put the controller, like, here, above the door, and well out of the way from anything that's going to randomly con connect it. <laughs> What's going on? Why are you? Why have you done this game? Why have you done this? This is this is more than 90 degrees. Right, okay. Let's just pop this here. There we go. <laughs> I'm trapped, though. I'm literally trapped. I can't do anything now. I literally can't get out. I'm going to have to, like, start up my vehicle to get out. We're going to have to get the flap open. I'm going to have to run out with the flap, aren't I? But this is a good way of testing it. Look, all the sides move. The door's open now. That is brilliant. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy with this. I couldn't be any happier... Like, this is literally amazing. Now, let's drive it a bit. It's a bit heavier. We could do with turning the power up, but look at it. We built a moving house. 
This is literally incredible. Incredibly amazing. Um, so there's one more thing to do. You can see the wheels, wheels still. There is a way you can get around it. Uh, I might as well show you actually if I can do it. I don't want to. I don't want to like fail. <laughs> How do I do this now? Let's build. Actually, let me get out of this place. Let me get out of this cra this crazy moving house through here. There we go. Let's check the door. Door works perfectly. Brilliant. I love it. I love it so much. Um, let me get in the steering again. I really need to find a better way out of here. Every time I like, I put the wheels up, I trap myself in the house. <laughs> Actually, I think this is pretty good. I'm not, I don't think I want to change anything. What I was going to do is I was going to put flaps where the wheels are so it completely covered it. But I think for now, I think it's fine. I think if I put a roof on, um, I think this is such a, a magnificent house. Let me know if you want me to build it any bigger or put any stuff in it. Because it's quite a small house at the moment, but it is... It's a house. We can live in it. If we put a bed in it and stuff... Here, let me let me put a few home comforts in it. Let me put... Uh, let me put a corn in it. There we go. A couple of corns everywhere. Everybody loves a corn. A couple of flowers in it. Like so. And then there. It's, it's definitely homely. Definitely very, very homely. Let's put a good old Wellington boot... Where's the boot gone? <laughs> we need to put a welding good boot on the... On there. There we go. And then let's get in. Let's go. Let's go for a drive, guys. Let's go for a drive. Here we go. The Wellington boot has actually broken my design. Here we go. <laughs> let's go for a drive. Look at this. It's amazing. My little, my little moving house. We're away. Yay. <laughs> so, yeah. Tomorrow, what we're going to do is we are going to... Uh, do some challenges. We have got uh, an uphill climb challenge, which is going to be pretty amazing. Uh, and yeah, I'm hopefully going to do these a couple of times a week. If you've got any challenges that you want us to do, uh, so basically like topics, like, you know, you have to try and do this objective or you have to try and, you know, move crates from this place to this place. So you got to try and drive a plane at a million miles an hour through a spaghetti hoop, something like that. Then, uh, yeah, let us know. Let me let us know in the comment section below. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, it lets me know that you li <laughs> you really like the series and you're loving it like I am. But yeah, that's it for now, guys. My name is Beast Skadoodle. I hope you've enjoyed my little moving house tutorial thing in my bobby. It's awesome. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Poo!